Hi, this is Pat Galanfi with Attention Central Texas, and today we have a wonderful man that, uh, that I've known for a while, and he has got such a wonderful story and a ministry that we want to share with you. So his name is Dan Kirkley. He's the president of the board of directors of Hope for the Hungry, and he and Candy began Hope for the Hungry many, many years ago, and I'm just going to introduce him and have him share what's on his heart today because there's some really special things going on with Hope for the Hungry. Dan, thank you so much for being here today. I am excited to learn more about Hope for the Hungry and see what's on tap for your future. So welcome. And um, what's going on with Hope for the Hungry? I know that you started this back in 82, right? 1982. Yes, How did that come about? Wow, Pat, that's a good question. Back in 1982, I was asked to make a trip to Haiti with a gentleman from Lafayette, Louisiana, who was a redeemed mafia Sicilian guy that was just Anthony Mueller, wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, we went down to Haiti, met a pastor of a church up in the hills in the little village of Guibert. So this was a missions trip? It was a missions trip. Okay. And uh, he committed $10,000 to be, rebuild an old hurricane torn down building for these eight children that were being moved from house to house to house. Mm. And I committed to come home and raise $200 a month to be able to take care of their food, their clothes, their school, the mom that we hired, $200 a month back 39 years ago wow. went a long way. Mm -hmm. So I committed to do that. Got on the airplane, started home, and I thought, Dan Kirkley, you're crazy. Where are you going to find $200 a month to take care of these kiddos? Well, 39 years later, we've got four divisions in our organization, work with a lot of other wonderful organizations in Bell County in the Central Texas area, and have sort of developed the theology of, hey guys, if I have a lawnmower, please don't go buy a lawnmower. And I think with the pressures from the world on the church today mm -hmm. and with all that's going on, the more we do together uh, as a body of Christ, the far more we can do with the funds that we have available and the better job we'll be able to do as well. Absolutely. Well, I was looking on your website last night and I saw that there were lots of areas that y'all do amazing work, not only Haiti, uh, but with children and, and families here in the area. Could you share a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, our four divisions include the cooperative ministries where we have 17 families in 15 countries and then 12 local small organizations for whom we do all donor management and pay their bills and do their administrative work so they can do the work God called them to do. That also involves small children in our areas. We work with the Central Texas Housing Authority mm -hmm. in Belton. We have a, a ministry called Hope House that Jen Sutton just runs admirably, where we love on the kiddos in the housing developments in the Belton area. And that's been a huge blessing. Uh, as well, in the last three years, we have now with us called Ark to Freedom, right. which is an anti-human trafficking division that's headed by Alberta Barrett, who is a wonderful lady. Her mm -hmm. daddy, uh, uh, Hallie Talbert, is the pastor here in oh, Colleen yeah. of uh, Westside Baptist Church. So yeah. that's been a phenomenal organization and she's doing an incredible job oh, of, of anti-trafficking training in the school systems and with other organizations locally. Right, I don't so. think many people understand the, de the scope of that problem in Central oh. Texas. I'm, and I'm learning more and it's, it's horrendous. Yep. Uh, Bell County is number four in the state of Texas. Oh, that's so sad. In incidences and you know, that has a lot to do with a little thing called Interstate 35 mm -hmm. and Interstate 14. And right. we are one of four I guess cities mm. in the state that has, or five that has the confluence or the coming together of two right. interstate highways yeah, yeah. in its city limits. And so um, it's, it's a big deal yeah, in Bell is. County and, and we're working really hard to help the training to alleviate the incidences of that. And, and when children are being groomed they're being groomed at a very early age mm -hmm. by people who know what they're doing yeah. and don't care about anything but the dollar. 
That's so sad. Very, very sad. But I'm so glad you, you have joined with that group because I've mm -hmm. had some personal experience with them and they are wonderful, phenomenal people. Mm -hmm. And But you know, all this stuff does take money. Yes, and uh, <laughs> and so, how, uh, and I understand you guys have an event coming up. I'd love you to share a little bit sure. more about that. On November the 11th, Pat, we're having our 39th annual celebration. Uh, it's it's going to be a wonderful thing. Um, Walter Abercrombie, who is a 1980 All-American Baylor University running back and who played for Pittsburgh for six years and then Philadelphia for two years. Ooh, sounds it's, like fun. It, yeah, I would think, and hurt a lot too. <laughs> but he's gonna be our speaker. It's a phenomenal thing. His daddy, in fact, in the 50s, I believe, was a pastor here in Colleen. Wow. And uh, Walter was born in Waco and grew up in Waco and then played at, at Baylor. Wonderful, godly man. Mm -hmm. We're doing sort of an indoor uh, tailgate Thing, where we have a variety of foods and we come in and, and just have a, a good time and then Walter will speak to us and uh, we'll share what God's doing mm -hmm. at Hope for the Hungry. Mm -hmm. And that's our big fundraiser every year. Wonderful. So Wonderful. It's, we're looking very much forward to that. So how do we get involved? Good, that's a really good question as well. Um, underwriting or sponsoring the banquet is available. Right. And folks can call us at the office at 254-939-0124 mm -hmm. or really even me personally at 254 on my cell phone, 718-1462. Okay. That's my cell phone. And there are levels of uh, sponsorship or underwriting as we call it. Right. Um, or we can do a table of eight for $250 or individual tickets for $35 That's each. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. So uh, we're starting at, at 6.30 and we will end at 8 p.m. So we, Way to go. we, we schedule <laughs> good Baptist meetings. You I know how that works. Kind. So <laughs> yeah, so um, it's gonna be a fun, fun oh, event. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And it's for a wonderful, wonderful cause. Well, I'm, I'm a little bit more curious about the tailgating thing. Explain yes. how that works. Where's this gonna be at, by the way? Oh, it's gonna be at the Mayburn Center in Temple. In Temple, okay, again, that's we'll right off of 35, six, right? Yes, right okay. off of 35, North Industrial Area. Okay. And um, we'll open the doors at six. We'll mm -hmm. start really at 6.30. But uh, tailgating, <laughs> I've never tailgated. So, but I understand either, it's like it when you go fun. to the stadium <laughs> and there's, you know, you have the barbecue things uh -huh. and the tailgates go down and stuff. A parking lot full of food. Exactly. <laughs> We're doing it indoor. Oh, okay. And our caterer we worked with for 10 years, it's CJ's down in Georgetown okay. at the bowling alley for crying outside. So it's, it's. I don't care where good food is as long as right. it's good food. <laughs> and so there will be four stations inside the Mayburn Center and we will have uh, also several booths where you'll be able to see the different divisions and what we do at Hope for the Hungry. But um, the, the tailgating will be sort of finger foods, yeah, um, meatballs and sliders and things like mm -hmm, that at mm -hmm. four different tables. And so you can go to all of them right. or any of them. And so it's a variety and it's a fun travel around, walk around, meet people. So get there it. early around six and mm -hmm. travel and, and fill your plate. And then yeah. the meeting starts at 630. Yes. I'm I'm excited about that. I'm a football girl, so I would love to Me go too. hear Mr. Abercrombie. He's he's phenomenal, yes. and he is. He's a wonderful man of God. So I'm excited. He's it's going to be a really really exciting evening. I am before we before we. Uh, I don't want to change gears too badly here, but I'm really interested in hearing more about the the children's ministries that mm -hmm. you're going that y'all do out of Belton and stuff. How does that work locally? Locally, what uh, Jen Sutton runs that, she's the director of our children's division. Mm -hmm. And uh, locally, both with the trafficking and uh, Tiffany Connor, who has started uh, uh, one of the division works. It's called Being His Hands and Feet. Right. And she works with children, homelessness, um, children who are having uh, mom and dad or, or away or, or whatever. It's it's been a, a, a real challenge to help the kiddos who, mm -hmm. who need help. And so that's a more than a full-time work because yeah. it includes doing things for them, clothing, 
uh, school necessities, all that sort of thing. Okay. And, and we do events for children and, and homeless moms and dads to make sure that the kids are in school and are able to do productive kinds of work at school and have the clothes and, and the, the materials they need right, right. to do what they need to do. And it's an opportunity for us as well to bring hope to an otherwise hopeless environment yeah. often. And that's the title of our banquet is sharing a future and a hope. Okay. That's a, a pretty scriptural thing because the recent past for some has been very hopeless. Mm -hmm. And we know that God's intention is not to be hopeless, but to give us hope that's through true. His Son Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And so that's the message that we bring is that we, we want to touch you physically but more important than that, we want to touch you as, as God will allow us eternally. Awesome. And well, if someone wants to get in contact with you as far as maybe volunteering and, mm -hmm. and donating outside even the banquet, uh, do you guys have a website, that type of thing? Hopeforthehungry.org. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> is, is our website. And so, yes, absolutely. And by going to the website, you can see the different divisions and the things that we do. And I think that it's very informational and I think very helpful as well. All right, now I have a question because my calendar is not in my brain. November 11th is what day of the week? Thursday. Okay. We so do all of our things on Thursdays things. because, <laughs> yes, events and board meetings right. and all that because it's our opinion that Thursday is the most available. It night really of the is. Week. Yeah, oh. you're absolutely right. I found that to be true too. So, Hope for the Hungry, Sharing a Future and Hope Banquet. Yep. All right, so that's going to be Thursday, November 11th. It starts at 6.30, but we should come at 6. Doors open at 6. Yes, Doors open at 6 so we can get all this cool food. Yes, ma'am. It sounds like so much fun. And the fact that you did the the uh, the tailgating theme along with Mr. Abercrombie is just so cute. Thank you. I just love whoever came up with that idea. It was just amazing. So we just want to thank you so much for being here today. So I want to encourage everybody to go out to the Frank Mayburn Convention Center in Temple, Texas. Thursday, November 11th, you want to get there at 6. And, and if you're a church, if you're a pastor and you'd like to maybe um, uh, get a table for your congregation, we encourage you to do that. Call those numbers on the screen and someone will answer that phone and help you get signed up. Uh, I know I'm going to go home and talk to my pastor right now <laughs> so, because it sounds like a great evening, not only uh, a fun, but it's going to be a way to help and encourage many, many people in this local area, whether they're children or men and women caught up in human trafficking and there really is a huge need. And so, Dan, I appreciate all that you Thank guys you, have been doing. You are Thank just you. a blessing to the body of Christ and to Central Texas. Thank you. So thank you for watching today. You have a wonderful day in Jesus.